Want to get more range on your Proxmark? Why not change the antenna? Do they work? Let's find out. Since the advent of the RDV4, people have been selling new and better and improved external antennas for the Proxmark RDV4. And I've got a whole selection of antennas here. Um, but let's be honest, this is not the first time that this, the changing antennas have been around, because with the RDV3, you can see here, you have the antennas on, and I've just mounted mine physically onto the board, but you could always take these off and you could change these. But I don't think I ever saw um, commonly available changeable antennas for the RDV3. But with the RDV4, there's been loads of antennas released. So this was the stock antenna with the um, low frequency antenna on top and the high frequency antenna below. Um, and then this is the, the new and improved antenna. Um, this is my Proxmark with the Blue Shark module on it. Uh, and as you can see here, there's some little switches on the bottom uh, and they allow you to get more fidelity uh, on low frequency, not on high frequency, on low frequency. So those switches for us here don't really make an awful lot of difference. Um, and then you'll see people talking about um, the brand new long range antennas. Uh, and you've got this one here, which is apparently a slightly better quality uh, high frequency antenna, if all you want to have on there is a high frequency. And then this one here, which is the much vaunted long range high frequency antenna. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do some testing using my patented test kit. All it is, is we have a card here. This is a bog standard uh, MyFair Classic. I think it's a blank one. Yep, yeah, it's just a classic 1K. I think it's blank, I have no idea. But anyway, it just needs to be a test card, something to read. And we have our Proxmark, and we're gonna place our Proxmark down the bottom, make sure it's nice and flat onto the bottom, and then we're going to place, and you can see this has graduated from two centimeters, four, six, eight, up to 30. And if we get past 30, then I'll use something else. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the card into the slots that are cut in there. And we're gonna see if, just see if we can actually read it. Now I have no doubts that we can read a card there, but let's just try up a little bit. Let's try up at six and then we'll try and read there and then we'll go up and we'll change the antennas. Now I'm not going to video the whole lot with me changing antennas so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run a quick uh, HF um, search and see whether I can see it. So on this particular one here now this is the upgraded antenna but all the upgrades on this antenna are all to do with low frequency fidelity uh, not to do with high frequency. So I think this one is essentially equivalent to this one, which is the basic antenna that came uh, with the Proxmark. So I'm not gonna bother swapping that one on. Really, all I want to do is test this one, which is the long range antenna. And if I have time, I may test this one, but I don't actually think this has got anything other on it. I think this is exactly, basically, a high frequency antenna without the low frequency bit bolted on. So uh, we may not test that either. But I wanna test this, which is the much vaunted long range antenna and see, actually, how much further range do you get? So without further ado, I've got my card in my, my test rig here and I have my prox mark down the bottom. And what I'm gonna do, I, I won't have the screen showing. I'll just see if I can actually see it with a bog standard HF search and we'll see what we can do. So yep, that can find that tag at that distance. So let's raise it up, put it back in the slot again. HF search it can find it at that distance. So now we're getting up the stock antenna. Now we're getting a good sort of like a couple of, we're getting eight centimeters. At eight centimeter range, it can see it. Let's go up to, uh, oh, that was 10. Um, let's go up to, oh no, no, so this got up to 10. This would be 10 centimeters. See if you can read it at 10 centimeters. Oh. Nope, can't see it at 10 centimeters. So that actually is the range of the stock antenna. Let's hold it about the same distance. Let's try, so sorry, about the half distance. So this actually is nine centimeters. Let's see if you can do it. Yeah, nine centimeters it can. If I go a little bit further up. Just a little bit further up, it still can. Let's put it up a little bit higher. No, 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 it absolutely, it just about, at just under 10 centimeters, it can, but it can't tell what the possible types are. So therefore, we know 
that the reliable reading distance of the standard antenna is about eight centimeters from the bottom, give or take a little bit. So now let's swap on our long range antenna and see how much further we get. Welcome back. We've now screwed in the little, uh, the six little um, screws. They are ridiculously small. So just be very, very careful when you're changing them. You might've seen I had a magnetic bowl behind me. A magnetic bowl is a really handy thing because it means you can just drop parts in there and they stick in the center. So as long as whatever you're working on is not um, uh, magnetically sensitive, uh, it's fine. So now we are back. What do we have here? Well, we have the Proxmark with our, um, with our antenna, the big antenna on it. You are not going to be discreet with this antenna. We've put it down at roughly the same height and what we will do is we shall put a card in and I haven't actually done an HF search yet so we're now about to see if uh, an HF search will find a tag. It absolutely does, thank goodness for that, it does work. So at the lowest range at two centimeters it finds it. Let's go up to eight centimeters which is where the um, um, the default, or sorry, the upgraded tag um, uh, antenna, this one, the upgraded antenna with the uh, extra thing for low frequency. Um, let's see whether that, um, whether it can actually beat this antenna. So let's see, drum roll please. Yes, it finds it. So we know it's at least as good as the, uh, as the small antenna. So let's go up even further. Let's see if we can find a tag. Yes, we can. Let's go up even further. 14 centimeters. Oh. Yes, it still found it. 16. So we're at quite a distance actually here. Yep, 16 centimeters still found it. Let's go up to 20 centimeters. Otherwise, this is going to be a very, very long and very boring video. Oh, I might have just gone a bridge too far there. No. Let's come back down to 18 centimeters. See if we can find it at 18 centimeters. It seems like I was being a little bit OTT. So, it can't find it. Let's come back down to 16 centimeters. Maybe 16 was the absolute limit. Yeah. So, um, actually, what's that? That is uh, two, four, uh, 14, that's 14 centimeters. So, in actual fact, given the inconvenience of it and given that the, um, the upgraded um, antenna, and I'm not gonna compare it against the, uh, the other one, um, given you only get about two or three centimeters longer, you know, I'm not actually all that impressed. This doesn't give that much. In my experiment here, this doesn't give actually that much extra range. I don't know if I could do anything different. I don't know if I, if I change the orientation of the card to be maybe that way around, whether we get a difference. Let's jump up to 16 centimeters. Let's give it the best possible chance. No, that's it. So, with given the size of the antenna and the fact that then once you put this antenna on, it doesn't pack underneath in the nice little case, this actually only gives you about, what, that much more? And that what's that much between friends? So, there you have it, everybody. Um, in my testing, if, if you've tested this and you get better, and if you think I've tested this wrongly, please, drop a message in the comments, and if I need to, I'll redo this video. If I've messed up, please tell me here. But in reality, given how that these are actually quite expensive, I forget how much I paid, I think it was in the region of about uh, above $50 for this. Um, 
I really, really don't think it's worth it. Um, I think the upgraded um, antenna, I think upgraded antenna with the low frequency, uh, the change in fidelity to low frequency, I think that's worth it over the stock. Um, I've not tried the, the mini antenna, which only has high frequency on it. Um, it probably gives me a little bit more because there's no other antenna uh, conflicting, but really and truly, why you would want to put this extra high frequency antenna on there, I do not know. So, there you have it, folks. Um, in my testing here in the man cave using my patented uh, test facility, um, I don't really think you get dramatic enough a difference between the standard antenna and the upgraded antenna and this, this ultra, this long range antenna to really, really be worth it. So until next time, have fun, have fun with your prox marks and, um, and stay experimenting. See you later.